My name is Jake. I'm Beth, and this is our 2012 Vauxhall Movano self-built camper van, which we are now using to take us all around the UK and Europe. We already knew that we didn't want to get a pre-made motorhome. We wanted something completely unique, individual, something that we could test ourselves with and a way to learn new skills. And that's why we decided to build everything ourselves. Yeah, and also we had a lot of time due to the lockdown. So we had four or five months where we needed to fill our time up and this is the result. So as we've only just finished our van conversion, we don't have a name for our van yet. So while you're watching this video, if you think of a good name, please leave it in the comments below. And if we happen to choose the name that you suggest, then we'll give you a free print from our travels in Australia as a way of saying thank you. So please help us choose a name and now let's get started with the tour. So first off, this is our kitchen area slash workspace slash anything else we choose to do here because it's our largest worktop. And first I'll start with this overhead cabinet. So I'm most proud of this probably out of everything in the van because I hand drew this mandala. I used to draw them all the time and doodle them. So it was quite easy for me to just paint this mandala on there before we hung the doors. Um, inside we have most of our like rice and oats and dates, lentils and all the things like that. We didn't measure it, but the jars happen to fit perfectly in here. They're just co old coffee jars that my uncle has given us. Um, and yeah, just some more food storage here, basically teas and vitamin tablets, some nuts and seeds and important things like that. Um, we have our nice PVC splashboard and our little plant rack, which I upcycled out of one of my grandpa's old drawers. And we really like how it looks. Another really important feature in our van is the vent fan thing. Um, it's a Fiamma 28 one. We have a video about exactly how we installed it with all of our tips if you're interested. Um, but yeah, this basically just spins around and pops up. We've got the fly net on here at the moment, but you don't have to have it on. Um, and it basically goes from blowing air inside the van and extracting air outside the van. So we use the extraction one when we're using the toilet and when we're cooking as well. Next is the under kitchen cabinet area. This is everything below the worktop. So I'll start here um, with our cupboard. We we're gonna have drawers here, but it was actually easier just to make this cupboard. We've got a, a cutlery one, which is made from an old upcycled drawer, which my dad shortened at the back and I painted. We were gonna have it on runners, but we decided that just having it on this wood was a lot more simple and it works really well. So we're okay with that. Um, old tea towels and everything in this slide out drawer and yeah I've just stuffed some reusable bags for our shopping in the corner there so that's a really simple area nice and tidy so next this is our fridge it's a DC 50 12 volt compressor fridge it was really important for us to have a good fridge with a decent amount of space because we are vegan we eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and we love cook well Jake loves cooking I don't like cooking um so we just need a lot of space to hold all the food it's got a little freezer section at the top here and then the rest is fridge space we found this is definitely enough space for two people and now for our main storage area so we just kept it really simple with these two big doors and to keep it even more simple we just have two shelves through the middle and on each shelf we have these slide out boxes which is just so easy it was really easy to make um, and then on the bottom section we've got all of our heavy stuff like our cooker kettle our bin and our cleaning stuff gas canisters um, so yeah it's just a really simple setup it works really well and we can keep it organized we've got a little hanging door organizer as well and yeah really pleased as this is obviously a moving vehicle and not a static house, we needed something that was going to keep the cupboard doors closed. That's why we went for these locks. So I ordered them, we put them on the doors and we realised that this is big enough to be a door handle as well. So we didn't need handles, we can just use that to open the door and they're perfect. I love the way they look and they're really nice and minimalistic. And over on this side we have the standalone unit which houses our sink and underneath just the things for the sink, like the water containers. So basically we just made the countertop with a cutout so that we could remove it when we wanted to access the sink and put it in when we wanted more counter space. As Beth mentioned, I do really love my cooking so I wanted as much counter space as possible. So much so that I also added this extended piece over here. And it's been lovely to bring the cooker over here for somewhere nice we can just cook 
looking over the view and it's been wonderful to do. It's easy, just comes up and down on foldable brackets. And for our tap, we just went cheap and cheerful, nice and minimal, made it out of some copper pipes. It's only a single temperature, but that's all right for us. We don't need hot water. If we do need hot water, we can just boil it in the kettle and add it to the bowl or wherever we want to use it. But it was really fun to make. And we also kept it so that it was separated here so that we could still remove, uh, still move it around. So, you know, get that all important counter space. And here is underneath our sink. We've kept it super simple, super minimal. And so we've got two 20 litre canisters, jerry cans, which I use for our fresh water and our gray waste. And it all works by a foot pump. So we wanted to be really conscious of how much water we were using, because as you can tell, we can't hold that much. We don't have, we don't have the underslung tank a lot of people have. I feel like if you're using an electric one, sometimes you can not realize how much water you're using. We can really control exactly how much water we use. It's really good actually. As soon as we stop pumping, it basically stops running. And we've got a video all about that. So check out one after this. If you want to see how the plumbing situation works, I'll go into a bit more detail about it. And that's it. It's very simple. We also have a little shelf here, which Beth also made out of another recycled drawer. And, and we've also got a fire extinguisher. And that's it underneath there. We don't want to put too much else in there because it's mainly dedicated to the sink. So let's move on. Also in our van we have two seats, one here, one right here. This is my seat, hence the guitar and the blanket, <laughs> my two most used items. Um, and underneath my seat is the toilet. So we just have a clip here and two magnets, the door pulls off very easily. Um, our toilet is on a couple of spare pieces of vinyl flooring just so it doesn't scratch our floor. It pulls out like this um, and we have toilet paper and the most eco-friendly toilet liquid we could find which is highly concentrated so we only need a small amount. Um, it was really important for us to be fully self-contained as some of the free campsites don't allow you to stay if you don't have your own toilet. So yeah, really important to have one even if it's only just for emergencies. And on this side we have my seat which has the electric switch panel and also because Beth drew the short straw and has the toilet underneath her seat that means I get the seat without the view but I always get to look at her which is the nice view anyway and basically I can just remove my pillows put them on the bed and I access my storage area which is all mine and oh it's a big deal it's all mine it's all mine so in the middle section um we kind of made this up as we went along. We didn't really know how we wanted it, but we love how it's turned out. Um, we've got this slide out table. So I'll show you when Jake's sitting there and I'm sitting there, we can have our dinner here. We can play games, have a cup of tea, anything really. Um, and the copper pipe here was a last minute decision, but it's really nice. I love it. Um, here we have our main drawer, just the stuff we use every day. Half of it's Jake's, the bigger half, by the way. Half of it's mine. Mine! Um, and this is just the stuff I use every day and a couple of books and things like that. Um, and here, this is my main storage area. So everything I own fits in here and half of here. I'll show you. This pulls out, and when it's out, we put the back of this seat and the back of this seat on top and if someone ever wants to join us on an adventure this kind of turns into an extra single bed so yeah really pleased with it and we just use these um, small wooden tags to hold everything in while we drive and here we have our bed which is just shy of a double sized mattress and as you can see it's very well laid out but that's down to beth i didn't do much here so what did you do <laughs> So first of all we got the mattress from Ikea, it's just a, a standard foam mattress um, it's the 10 centimetre thick one and it's so comfy, we've slept really well in this. Um, it was really easy to cut the mattress with just a pair of scissors, so when that was done we just put the duvet and everything on it like usual. My mum made us this quilt which is made from the same material as our cushion covers, um, so it all kind of matches really nice um, and this material and our cushion covers are actually made from a curtain, so it was a really cheap way to buy material. Um, we've also got our standard nets, they're just like normal house nets but they do double up well as a fly net when they're pulled across. We've got our little map fairy lights, um, I'll link them below if you want to check them out, it's just from a local artisan who makes things out of recycled materials and are hanging here. So yeah, we've managed to make it look really pretty and really nice. We really wanted a fixed bed rather than a bed which we could change into a table and chairs like a lot of camper fans do. We do love that, we love how it saves all the space but the idea of doing that every single day to put it away and bring it back out just 
we didn't want to be doing that so, and we also spend most of our time outside so we don't need all the space in the, on the inside anyway plus we've got our handy table here as we showed you before and also we wanted the garage space because that's where we are housing our electrics and the rest of our storage so yeah. let's show you that now and this is our garage area so it was really basic and simple didn't look very nice so i decided to put a beach towel here that we had anyway it just happened to be the perfect size which is just luck and then this here is just for hanging things on whatever we need to hang um, and it was the top of the curtain the same curtain that we used for our cushion covers and our quilt as well and this was my mum's idea she's really good at reusing things so underneath here we have some extra backpacks and stuff we have my guitar case our ladder because we don't have a ladder on the outside of the van that's just for cleaning the solar panels We've got Jake's yoga mat and a couple of litter pickers as well, just to pick up all the rubbish from people who have just decided to leave it. Um, so yeah, and then I'll leave it to Jake to talk about our electrics because that is definitely not my area of expertise. Now we're completely run by solar power. So on the roof, we have two large solar panels and they feed through to our charge controller, which charges our batteries and charges our devices and runs all of our appliances. We try to keep as much of it as possible on 12 volt, but we do have an inverter. It's a 1000 watt inverter. That's for when we need to charge household things such as our laptops. Everything else runs through the 12 volt power. And that's it, we've kept it really simple, really basic. It's working for us, so far it's doing well. We might have to later on adapt and put more in, but so far it's provided more than enough power. I think that the electrics was the most confusing part of the build, but we got there in the end, and I'm going to do a video all about the electrics so if you're struggling with that and you want to know how to do the simple thing like we have, then check out that video. It will detail everything about what we've used if you want to run just on solar power. But other than that, that's it. If you've got any questions, please write them down in the comments and we'll get back to you. Let us know what you liked, maybe even what you didn't like. But if there's something you did like and you want to know how to do it, we've got a whole band build series here on the channel. So go ahead and watch those. But other than that... Other than that... You can see loads of adventures from us. We'll be filming lots of cooking things, lots of tips about living a van. When we've been living in it for a little bit longer, we might make a video about things that we would change about our van. Uh, we're gonna be traveling all around England and all around Europe. So if you want to join us on that journey, please feel free to subscribe and we'd love to see you in the next one.